Hey, it's Cycling Explorer again. Today I want to talk about getting back in the saddle. We've all done it where we've ridden or run or whatever and then we decide we take some time off whether because of an injury or because uh, things got in the way and we just couldn't do it or in the winter time it's really hard to run or cycle or uh, any of these outdoor activities that uh, tennis for example that we all tend to want to do in the summer but as we're talking about this is a cycling uh, channel um, when it comes to cycling lots and lots of riders fall into that very similar trap once they give up they find it virtually impossible to get back on the bike runners as I said have the same problem once you stop Stepping back out onto that road or trail is so difficult to get going again. If you've abandoned your bike and it's now gathering dust in your garage or your shed, then take some time to ask yourself why. At least, if nothing else, do me a favor and walk out and take a look at that bike and just see if there's still air in those tires. So why is it it's sitting there? Is it because of just lack of time? Is there a feeling you won't be able to recapture that form of your younger days? Or is it just pure laziness? Many riders will find some excuse not to get back in the saddle. The tough part is to motivate yourself enough to drag your body off that sofa. That's one of the reasons why I created my YouTube page, was to give people that uh, uh, feeling that they want to get out and try checking out some of those trails. Now, I need to call this back to your future. Make sure you're not dwelling in the past. It's been a long time since you achieved that personal best time, you know, whether it was a four minute mile running or uh, a three minute mile cycling, or maybe it was 50 miles cycling, whatever. Um, but don't fret about recapturing that peak form. You have to start small and work yourself up. You might be a little bit older and you may have developed a little bit of that middle age spread. So let's be realistic and realign the targets and your cycling goals. Whatever you do, don't beat yourself up about why you stopped cycling or failed to train in the past few months or even years. The future is what's important, not the past. Make sure you f your focus is purely on, on looking ahead. Now it's probably time to set some new goals. Uh, we all need these goals to motivate ourselves, you know, whether it's losing weight or whatever. Um, you know, I want to lose 10 pounds, I want to lose 20 pounds, whatever the case may be. You have to set those goals. You don't have to do it January 1st. Just write it on a piece of paper and attach it to something by your computer. If you set yourself a target, be sure it's achievable and not too ambitious, especially as you may have lost some basic cardio fitness. This will help focus your mind and keep you motivated. Now I know it would be ideal to enter a 100 mile road race, but if you're new to cycling just try a 25 mile race. Either of these would be perfect target to train for. Another aim would be to shed a little bit of that weight that I talked about previously. You may have put on a few pounds since the last time you jumped on that bike, so you need to get those off. Again, put something right there by your computer, something that you can see every day. Maybe every Sunday you uh, weigh yourself and you put that, that number there on your computer so only you can really see it. If you lose two pounds, put a minus two from the prior week. But make sure whatever you do, you're tracking your progress. Now, I have a couple of uh, videos I put out on apps that will help you with the tracking progress. So you may want to check those videos out. Now, I want you to follow a really strict regime. In other words, make time. So if you're serious about getting back on that bike, then you need to instill some discipline in your training regime. If you have a busy life juggling a job and family and uh, maybe another sport, then it's critical that you take the time to start cycling and don't make it an insurmountable barrier to get back on that bike. And one of the easiest ways to get back on is to just socialize. Join one of your old clubs or find a new one. 
here in Columbus. There's a few good ones uh, that you can join. They ride all the time. There's a couple of good websites you can go to that tells you uh, who's riding which weekend. So there's there's no excuse not to uh, check your particular town community and see what's available. These people will give you encouragement. So I mean, they want to see you there every week. You know, they enjoy it. They're they're probably struggle just like you are. Now, don't forget, age is no barrier if you want to cycle well. And I'm actually going to put together a video in the next couple of days about uh, uh, somebody who was 100 years old that actually set uh, a record. So hopefully you'll check that one out when I get it put up here in about three or four days. If it's been several years since you've ridden competitively, then you're just going to have to realign your goals. You can't just go out and think I can ride 100 miles when you haven't even been on your bike. You're going to end up with those saddle sores, that's for sure. And you may not be able to ride as quickly as you did in your younger days, but you know what? I've got some videos I'm putting up that will actually help you to regain some of that. But set personal goals. You know, it might be a big decision to get back on that bike. It may not be as simple as just dusting it off, putting some air in the tires, and riding away. You know, so look for encouragement from friends and family and even some of your old riding buddies, work buddies as well. Ask them what they think. They're likely to give you um, some encouragement and urge you to go through with your plans to kickstart your career. And one last thing, you need to make sure you check with your doctor about this change. That's important. I want you to make sure that if you do nothing else, your doctor gives you clearance, go for it. Just ride. You know, a few little easy rides to start off, just check out the neighborhood, see what's going on, and then venture a little bit farther, but make no excuses. If you want to really ride, you just have to go for it. This is Cycling Explorer. I want you to have a nice day.